how was your experience with Dilla working on you know tracks like uh, Don't Say a Word and How It Goes Off? Uh, I told you so. How does how was that experience? Well, let me say I flew to Detroit to work with Jay Dilla. Mm. <laughs> I, I was in his basement in his mom's basement with him playing me break records, you know. Mm. Um, and I actually was making working with him at the same time that Common was making Water for Chocolate. So it was kind of cool because I got to hear some of the stuff he was working on. And then he got to hear some of the stuff that I was working on. And uh, we would go like the Mongolian barbecue together and hang out and talk shop or whatever. And um, uh, one story I can share with you for sure is that um, he has a jazzy kind of feel. And for me, I just yeah. felt like when I wrote the record, like I felt like I, I wasn't making the mark. I felt like I couldn't fall into that relaxed mode where I wanted to be at. Yeah. And so I kind of re kind of recorded a pass that was a little laid back, and it, you know, and the things that I was writing and saying weren't as sharp as they normally would be. Mm. And I remember Dilla <laughs> Dilla told me he was like, "Che, you ain't here because I want a Chino Excel record." He said, "Don't try to go in this direction and try to meet, you know, try to dial in in this way." He's like, "Man, I need you to be you wow. and meet me seventy, you know, seventy thirty on this thing." And once he said that, man, it just kind of freed me up to just go ahead. And, um, yeah, really easy to work with. And, um, nice guy. And, uh, <clears throat> it bothers me that I'm not going to see him again on this plane. <laughs>